What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and I'm excited to do this opening because it feels like it's been a while since I've done a figure or statue unboxing and that's what we have right here. Uh, if you follow me on Twitch then you know the game that I mostly play is Genshin Impact which we have one of the characters right here which is Ningguang. It's one of my all-time favorite characters. I like her design and uh, yeah we're gonna be unboxing the 1-7th uh, scale figure of Ningguang. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Also follow me on Twitch and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, you guys, so let's get to opening this box. Uh, I did order this box or this figure, I'm sorry, uh, from AmiAmi. And this is the first time that I have uh, AmiAmi actually send me just a plain old box, you know? Which uh, I was kind of anticipating because I was looking at other uh, Ningguang uh, figures. And they all came with the brown shipping boxer right here. Also, this is the new card right here. And I believe this is the one for the month of uh, September or October. I'm not sure. I think it was September. Pretty cool. Uh, this is kind of fitting because uh, I collect bunny figures. So they sent me a bunny figure. Illustrator card. And this one, uh, this is kind of a, not a heavy box, but it's kind of complicated to uh, take out just because there is no protection between the shipper box In the original box. Just gotta be careful. And I got this one about a week ago, but I just didn't have time to make a, a video for it, so here we are. Oh, I hope everyone has been good watching a lot of anime, hopefully. I know I have. I've been busy with, uh, uh, with work, uh, but yeah, like I said, if you guys follow me on Twitch, then you guys know that I stream sometimes, which you should go follow me. Oh, wow, here we go. And this is the box that comes with the protection all around the, the original box. Let me just take it out. Cool. Oof. So it does come with the protection right here with the styrofoam all around. And I actually like that. And the plastic around it. And I believe this ooh, this box is supposed to be made out of wood. That's what I had heard. But I am not too sure. Get the plastic out. Here we are. Uh, a little bit of a uh, bent, I would say, but uh, it's nothing major, really. Like even for collectors, uh, this is still pretty good. And we're gonna be going around the box really quick. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so this I would assume would be the back of the box, and uh, I'll show you guys later in a little bit. Um, on top we have the Geo Element uh, logo. It's pretty cool. On the sides we have this crazy looking pattern. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we are right there. And on the front, which is what I believe would be the front, we have the sigil right here. Uh, it looks pretty cool. The box overall is kind of like brownish, goldish. And uh, with a different shades of brown, I believe. It's like bronze, maybe. It's pretty cool. I like this box. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep this one. If you guys know me, you guys know that I keep all my boxes. Pretty cool. Now we're going to be opening this box and we're going to be taking out where the figure is actually at. Right here. And as you guys can see, this box right here is actually like dark brown. I'm gonna put this one right over here. And we're gonna be opening this one. So there's three sides of tape. So one. Two. There's three. I just gotta be careful because I 
want to keep this box too. And I don't really want to bend anything or scratch anything. So yeah, this is the 1-7 scale Ning Guang figure. And um, once I saw this figure, I knew I had to pre-order it. Right here we have the instructions, which will come in handy. Whew, bit of a workout. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna have to be assembling. So we're gonna take a quick break and we'll see the finished product right now. So here we have the figure finally put together guys. Uh, it was a bit of a challenge putting it together. Uh, there was some barbed wire uh, attached to the plastic just so everything comes uh, together, nothing loose, nothing broken. So I appreciate that uh, the backdrop, every, everything is beautiful about this figure. Even the, the base, you know, even though it's a little bit squarish and it's not usually my cup of tea when the base comes a little bit, you know, like triangle-ish or squarish. I prefer a little bit more round, but you know, uh, this still works for this figure. The face is spot on. The hair is, I can't say anything bad about the hair. It's, I, I feel like the hair is one of those things that either makes or breaks the figure. But uh, in, in this case, it just, it just really works for Ning Wong. And uh, I've always been, uh, you know, really fascinated with Ning Wong's uh, design. I just think everything works for her. The, even her colors, which is the gold, black, and white. Uh, she has a little bit of a, a tattoo right next to her leg. I like to think it's a tattoo, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, but yeah, I really like Ning Wong. Actually, before I even saw Ra uh, Raiden Shogun from Genshin Impact, uh, I guess you could say Ning Wong was my waifu. But uh, yeah, I just really like uh, Ning Wong. I like her her design and um, yeah we have the incense we have the smoke going around right uh right next to the backdrop we have the light and uh, yeah I believe if you use one of these uh, scrolls which is magnetic it would actually turn on this light I don't know if you guys could see it due to my lighting but uh, I will turn on or turn off the lights so you guys can get a good look at the light uh, it does require a battery, which is a CR1632, but you could actually get it through Target, Walmart, or uh, your closest store that carries batteries, I guess. But yeah, overall, uh, we have this little base that holds the scrolls. I'll show you guys a close-up in a little bit towards the end of the video. And uh, you could place that. We have a scroll that's open that you could just lay down next to her, to her feet. And... Uh, I'm in love with this figure, guys. You know, I'm already fascinated by uh, Genshin, the game. And uh, if you haven't seen the, the previews where uh, I guess there's going to be a, an anime coming out, uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm already an anime guy, so uh, I'm really looking forward to, to an anime done by, what is it? Which studio was it? Ufotable? UFO Table? However, however it's pronounced, I'm not sure. but. It is the same studio that does a Demon Slayer. So I'm looking forward to that. If it does end up happening, which I, I believe it will. And um, yeah, man, there's not a lot of bad things I could say about this figure. This figure is already attached to, yeah, I don't think we can take out Ningguang from the seat, but at the end of the day, I wasn't planning to. It just, uh, I'm, really, I'm really glad I purchased this figure and uh, after I found out about this figure, uh, well not right after, a couple months after, uh, I saw that there was a special case for Ningguang, uh, but unfortunately it was sold out in like most websites. I did see that it was on eBay, but that was running for about $300 in, uh, yeah, I think it was from a seller in Australia, it was running for about $300 not including the shipping the shipping was about to be $200 so I would have paid $500 in total for this special case uh, I really love Ningguang but uh, I think $500 is a little bit too much for me right now so I'm just gonna have her like this if for whatever reason uh, in the future I can purchase this uh, this display case especially for Ningguang which was uh, specially designed for Ningguang for this figure I will purchase it but uh, right now, I think she fits in my collection. I could fit her uh, anywhere, maybe on top of one of these, but I don't think so. I have another detail on this side that you guys can't see, but I'll probably fit her right there. 
or uh, yeah, I'll fit her somewhere. But uh, I'll give you guys a close up. Uh, I think that's it for this video, guys. I do have a couple more figures. I believe shipping by the end of this month, if I am not mistaken. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot of uh, unboxing of statues or figures, but you know, a, a lot of figures have been delayed or uh, postponed. Sorry. And um, so yeah, I'm just waiting on those. All I can give you guys for now is you know, once in a while, I'll drop some of these uh, videos and some of my stream uh, videos. So uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, please do so. It is twitch.tv slash and uh, yeah, I think that's it guys. Uh, yeah, make sure to like this video if you like it. Uh, follow me on Twitch and uh, I'll see you guys later. Take care guys.